Hey guys, welcome back to Avarian, the spaceship buildings, galaxy spanning game of trading, exploration, combat, and other wonders. Woo! Last time we went around the galaxy and tried to appease the random objective gods to get this mission in the top right hand corner of our screen done. Unfortunately, after exploration of both the game and the internet, I have found out that this is actually a bugged mission, and whilst sometimes it does go ahead and uh, complete most of the time it does not so uh, we, we just got to be sad pandas about that but at the end of the last episode I went over to this equipment dock over here and if I pull up my ship's systems we should be able to see that I have a, a trading network this trading uh, up upgrade allows me to click over in this overview over here and I can see all the stuff that is for sale in the in the, the sector here and also more importantly all the stuff that I can sell and now if we have a look back in my ship menu and go to the cargo you can see that i have some fabric and some scrap iron so let's see what we can do about that shall we trading overview sell to stations i'm um, all the way down the end so it won't do it looks like it's in alphabetical order so uh abc i believe that's how the alphabet goes oh f o e x there's there's no fabrics here there's no fabrics here but what's this two different places doing explosive charges mobile merchant Hey buddy, what are you? Let's go and check out the mobile merchant. Who know? Hell, he's pretty close as well. Who knows what we're going to be able to find off him? Hey, you are now talking to the automatic resist, uh, interaction system of the mobile merchant. Uh, trade, trade, trade goods, buddy. Trade goods. What have you got? What have you got? Can I sell anything to you? That's the, that's the big one. No, but wow, what what have you got here? Anything cheap? Possibly transformers. No, I'm just gonna. I'm, I'm I'm just gonna buy his stocks of transformers. Bam! You must be closer to the ship to trade. All right, we'll we'll, tr we'll try and do that. We'll try and do that. I'm sure someone's gonna buy it in the time that it takes me to get over there. Ah, uh, I'm going a little fast. Okay, here we go. We we are it. I'm not sure what distance it's gonna class as being close enough to trade uh, I'm just gonna have to hope that one we don't smash into him and cause an international system an international incident okay is this close enough for hi how you doing uh, can I trade goods and can you t trade me all your transformers yeah all right that cost a lot of money but we got some great but it didn't count as the trader, which is kind of what I was hoping. So I'm a little bit disappointed with this sector here, and I feel like we need to try and find some way to sell our fabrics, but more importantly, actually, to upgrade our trading interface. At the moment, we have a limited access to this, this sector's worth of trading information, and I would like to see if we can do better than that. I'm just going to have a quick look through here and see if we've got salvaging turret. That's pretty nice. Okay, a lot of good-looking stuff there, but not actually anything we want. All right, where are we going? I'm going to first look for another equipment dock, and then we're going to travel up north. Uh, maybe we'll go via my uh, my home base there. We've not been there for a while, and it's got an equipment dock, so maybe, yeah. Of course, I'm going to try my best not to take the same route back. Let's go up and around this way. There's no equipment dock en route, as far as I can tell. Uh, I'll meet you over in Weathering Threat. Okay, me and Lady Adventurous have made it into the Withering Threat Gamma over here, but you might notice that we are missing a ship. Yeah, that's right. They collided again, got into a big fight, couldn't get there in time to stop them, and now we're just dealing with the fact that we're now down a ship. Not not really what I was after. This is an emergency. We need to deliver some 19 warheads. That's that's not for me. I'm not, not about it. I am not about it. I don't even know where we can pick up our warheads. All right, let's have a quick look in here and see for the trading overview, see if we've got anyone selling fabric or buying fabric. No, we do not. But selling anything interesting? I didn't really look at the selling on the way through, actually. I should have totally have done that look we could totally have bought a whole bunch of plankton here uh that's that's going cheap not that i know where we can sell it the hydrogen of course hmm all right that, anyway that's that's not what i'm about we're about this other uh, gate over here Oh, there's two gates. Look, there's one in that direction as well. We've got northwest to wither Withering Flat Epsilon, and over this side, southeast, southwest, sorry, to Everlasting Estate. I think I want the north one, right? Oh, yeah, especially as we've been down this way. Yeah, totally. Uh huh? Couldn't detect any stations that either buy or sell. Are we in a totally empty. We are in a totally empty place here. Okay, cool. But where are we? What, I mean, what is that? Uh, that's a scrapyard. Oh, it's good to know there's another scrapyard around. That That is actually good to know. All right, we want to turn northeast ish. I'm upside down, aren't I? Hang about, let's just slowly turn my ship back the other way because I've noticed that that's, that's west and that's east and that's, that's not the way it should be. And that's orientation achieved. Let's head over to the gate. 
Oh, that was a very small jump. Very, very, very small jump indeed. And our trade overview says, don't crash into me, Lady Adventurous. That's what it says. But back here, nowhere to sell any fabric and nowhere to buy anything decent. I don't know. Let's have a quick look through. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing not. Like, what would we even want here? Maybe oxygen or power? Oh, wait, warheads. <laughs> Can anyone remember how much I bought the Transformers for? I can't. I'm going to just go sell them. I'm just going to go sell them. It'll be like a, 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 a whole... It'll just be a whole trade complete there. And I doubt I'm going to lose too much money, even if I do. I'm, am I hoping that I make some money? We'll see. We'll see. I'll take it as a learning experience either way. Learning experience to tell me that I should have written down the numbers or taken a screenshot or done something to remind me of how much the price was when I bought them. All right, let's trade those goods away. Sell to the station. Sell eight of those. Big da bam. We've got money. We we got money. Way. <laughs> now, if only we could sell that fabric somewhere, right? If only. This sector is literally just a repair dock, trading post, and resource depot. Okay, this is interesting. This entire sector doesn't sell anything, but uh, sorry, doesn't buy anything, but it sells a whole bunch of different gases and energy cells and water. Uh, this is like a provider sector. Okay, that's one to remember. It's even called. Oh, I thought it said. I thought it was called industry. It's not. It's called insanity. So I'm guessing power, water, and gases are the base ingredients for the beginning of a lot of industry. I'm not entirely certain. It'd be cool to find out though, right? I suppose I could look it up on the wiki, but I kind of I want to figure this bit out myself. Like this first this first season is going to be a little bit painful as you guys just watch me figure it all out. This first season is the blind season, uh, but I, I I like it this way. I like I like figuring games out. It's uh, it gives me a real sense of pride and achievement when I. Want to get it myself, you know? But of course, this is probably an opinion I shouldn't spout on a gaming channel where people are there going to be like, Oh yeah, no, I don't want to watch this guy. He's going to ruin it for me. <laughs> probably a little bit counterproductive there. <laughs> All right. Back home. This is this is legitimately our home sector. It's got the little little house icon under it and everything. Beautiful, beautiful. Alright, what what are we gonna do here? We're going to the equipment dock and seeing if they've got anything worth purchasing. Um no no. No, we haven't. That, that's a real shame. I totally wanted to get a trade system. A better trade system. I wonder what this trade guild beacon does. It's, uh, it's got a specific ally and it's a merchant type. Gets the equipment stuff. Okay. Upgrades turrets doesn't show torpedoes. I, I, yeah, I don't know what this is. Can be activated by players. Calls in a merchant of your allies. Must be used in your allies territory. Ooh, that's expensive to just call in a trade guy. Like, is that is that one million credits to be able to call him? Hmm, seems a, seems a tad excessive. <laughs> well, with that crushing disappointment, I think we're gonna go pick up some water because we seem to be like quite full of stocks here, and it'll do us well to grab another set of cargoes before we disappear up to the northeast. I think I think northeast is the way to go because that is a part of the map that we have not filled in. I'd also like to get my mining ship back. That, that that would kind of be cool. Yeah, we still got a lot of water. What are we going to take? A thousand units? Ten thousand. Let's take ten thousand. We can't do that. Okay, we can do two thousand though. So let's get, get one thousand five hundred. That that seems like a good and reasonable number to me. You must be docked. Uh, I am docked. Wait, no, I was docked. Why would you do this? Okay, there we go. Bam. Bought the, bought the goods. Bought the goods. So new sector. No one's buying fabric, but how about water? No. All right. What have you got to sell? What have we got to sell here? Nothing. Oh, nothing, nothing jumps out anyway. Zinc. Ugh. This is obviously just a little corridor sector. I really feel like maybe, maybe we're going to have trouble selling our water here. <laughs> Ooh, I thought that last sector was a corridor sector. Wow. Ah, look, these guys would have bought our Transformers at a much higher price. Just to say that I've stopped giving you updates on each individual sector that I go through. My plan is just to do a little loop round. It was getting a bit much to be like, oh, this one's empty. No, oh, this one's empty as well. Power units definitely seem to be the currency, the base unit of the universe. We'll have to keep an eye on them. Oh, it's another research station. Not found many of these. Not found many at all. Let's see what they uh, what they'll buy off me. Turbines, teleporters, satellites, accelerators of various descriptions. Not water or fabric, though. I notice. Hey, what's this? I spotted uh, spotted something in amongst the rocks when I was flying past. I was just heading towards a gate. Uh, interact. What is it? Well, open. Yeah, of course. What have we got? A turret control system, energy to shield converter, and a. Oh, 100,000 credits. 100, ooh. Oh, no, no, I've got 100,000. It gave me 40,000. That's still a lot. 
Well, obviously, we're going to go ahead and equip these well-earned systems here. Uh, I was about to, actually, but the turret control system we've got is possibly better. Oh, yeah, well, that's some good stuff. Uh, okay, I'll be keeping an eye out for things like that in the future. Who knew? Who knew? Yeah, right, I should, I should get rid of the writing over there. Well, I found a sector where I could sell water. It's so full of stuff, though, that it is not worth it. Not worth it at all. So having started from my home base down here, I have nearly completed a full loop and the map has inferred a final jump for me that I haven't actually uh, gone and jumped, but the map tells me that that works out. So I don't think I'm going to be going down that way. Oh no, we're going to go over this way and find out what's the what's the sector in the middle before we start coming back. This one, this sector, let's have a look and see if it's got anything that I want to sell. Fuel? No, not there. Or wise. Okay, no. No, no fabric, no water. No wonder that other place was full of water. It's uh, got an ice mine right here. And there was just one in the middle. All right, targeting system, factory, war robot, factory, war robot, factory. Wow, yeah, a whole bunch of stuff, though. A whole bunch of stuff. Any of it actually useful for selling fabric to, though? Let's have a look next power. No. Fruit. They'll buy our fruit. Unknown hidden mass signature. Well, this seems like a great way to go on the way home. Let, let's go do it. I'm not really in the right vessel for this, but uh, what's the worst that could... In fact, we know what the worst that could happen is. I, I don't know whether I want to risk it. I should totally be in my other, other ship for this. Okay, what's going to happen on the other side? I literally don't know. Get ready to fly away as fast as we can. If there are, um, if there are pirates there, I'm just going to instantly open the map. Space to continue. Oh, look, instantly it's uh, back the way we came. Enter those over there. Uh, we're going to have to wait. Please stand by. I, I assume that my... Oh, man, just, just the turning is pretty difficult. Are they actually even going to get to me in time? Hey, Lady Adventurous, how you doing? You, um, you're going to die just probably as much as I'm going to die. We're all, we're all going to have a little bit of trouble. Uh, yeah, I can, I, I can tell that. 97 seconds, uh, sorry, 45% efficient, 25 uh, seconds to go. Uh, I'm just going to start heading off in this direction, see what happens. They say, go away, we are waiting for a friend. We could only have jumped off somewhere else, right? I don't know, maybe, maybe we could have. Maybe we could have. There's definitely one separate from the others. Is he coming at us? No, he's miles away. These guys are also kind of miles away. All right, actually, I'm going to jump. No, no, no. We're, we're going to go home. This, I'm not I'm not up for getting into a fight because I'm in my cargo vessel. I just wanted to know what the yellow mass signature was. All right, let's go. Hopefully, the Lady Adventurous is just going to follow us. She might die. Who knows? I'd never been to a yellow dot before, so I wanted to go out and find out what it was. If I was in the grandest entrance, it probably would have been better for the combat. Uh, right, I gotta, I gotta get home now. What, what's this? Why are we? Your hyperspace engine is using up all your energy. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Okay, we made it all the way home. We did this big loop all the way around this way, and I didn't really find anything overly interesting. I think the most interesting thing was this one, the gas collector solar power plant area. Uh, but, of course, there was another one down here somewhere that did just that. Yeah, this, this as well. So they, they are very interesting places, but there wasn't many uh, places to actually sell stuff to. I want to go and have a look at these steel and chemical factories, see if they've got anything to do with it. Did I just... Ooh, I, I was kind of uh, expecting to look back and find my ship plowing into an asteroid or something. But yeah, I, I didn't really find any major trade routes, but I suppose that's kind of down to me to try and figure that out as we're going. But the whole way around there, literally the entire way around, I was like, I should have left my mining bot mining. Uh, I, I really should have. I know it got destroyed, but I should have taken a moment to go ahead and fix it and put it up, set it up somewhere. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and take a moment to fix it and put it, set it up somewhere. And away he goes. Good work, little dude. Go get me some materials. So having set our little mining rascal off there, I want to try and get rid of this water. And having a look around on my map here, some of the best areas that I can see to get rid of it are like over here with the wheat farm. One of the best that I did actually see was all the way down here. Cocoa farm, potato farm, wheat farm. There's a whole lot down there, but that's all the way back over there. And I don't want to do that. What I want to do is go off and explore the area we've got up here. So I am going to come all the way down here, which I know is a little bit back. Oh, look, there's a water collector right there with the wheat farm. I might have trouble shifting this water, but I'm going to come down here. We're going to follow the, the, the gate network up and we're going to go in a big old loop around. And if I find anywhere that will sell, uh, that will 
buy the water off me, then I will bring us back and have a little chat. If I just do the loop, I will talk to you about what I found on the loop. Or something floating in an empty sector here. It seems like a perfect opportunity to conduct an experiment that I've been asked to perform. Uh, Forrest was asking if it's worth sticking with one ship or getting many, many ships. Uh, and his main, main question was actually whether you get all the materials back when you uh, create a ship or when you, more importantly, when you rip it apart. So I'm going to grab a big bit of carbon ar uh, of uh, iron armor here, sorry. Uh, I'm just going to literally put it, whoop, scale it right up like this and just slam it on the top and see what it does here. Okay, it's taken uh, 30,000, 10,000 off. It's taken 10,000 off. Now the big question, uh, let's, let's come out and fly around. So it actually classes it as something that uh, that a actually existed in the world. And now, if I do this, yeah, yeah, al almost exactly all of it. Back. I didn't, I didn't count the monies. I didn't count the monies. Maybe that didn't, but uh, the the footage would have told you. Okay, this is the sector with the wheat farm in it. Trading overview. Let's have a look. Sell to the station. I mean, I, I could. I could. I don't know whether it's actually going to be... Ooh, this one might be worth my while. Let's do that. I mean, who doesn't want to help the breeding of the cute little lambs? I mean, that's obviously what happens here. They don't have, like, some horrific battery farm that farms mammals for, for their meat as soon as they're able to. Ah, oh, no. I, I, could you imagine the horrors of zero-G meat farming? Ah, oh, you think we're bad now? Just wait until we can just push them around without thinking about it. Ugh, no. Incidentally, I am a strong bacon eater. I wish we could just do it better, you know. All right, trade goods. We are going to sell this. I, I don't even know if it's making a profit because, once again, I didn't write it down. Uh, but there we go. We, we, we've just, just cycled the water out of the system. That's what we're trying to do there, and that is what we achieved. Now, the next thing we want to do is a little bit of an explore. Look at these unknown energy signatures. Oh, there's even a, a hidden mass, but no, that's not what we're doing today. At some point, when I've figured out this trading thing and maybe even have a little bit of automatic trading going on in the background, we will resurrect the grandest entrance and start going and checking out these mass signatures that are all around the map but uh yeah I, I i need i need a steady flow of income so that i can repair my ships when i blow them up seems to be quite a common occurrence there some military outpost i should set the scene a little bit here guys so this is the the one where i went down and went oh look there's the wheat farm, but it's got a water collector there. So we went down, we've bopped up a couple. There was like some nice uh, noble metal mines there so we can get some gold and some silver and stuff like that. And I've come all the way up to here now to the Flames of Revenge 2. And it's got itself one of these military outposts here. So I thought I'm finding like three so far end posts for materials. We've got the military outpost, we've got the research station, and we've got the biome, the one where the people live. Oh, mission failed, urgent delivery. Yeah, yeah, I, I wasn't, I didn't want to give you all my, uh, all my titanium, if I'm to be honest. There is, however, an equipment dock over here, and I think we can make a quick chat across the, uh, subspace frequencies. I go, hey, trade equipment, what do you have over this side? Mining? That's pretty good. I'm, I'm looking for the trade, you know I'm looking for the trade. No, no trading upgrade. That, this makes me sad. This makes me a sad pilot. I mean, this, this, this exceptional turret control system is pretty nice, but three times the amount of money I've got. <laughs> oh, oh, it's uh, it's the bio, bio, biotope, it turns out, is what they're talking over there. That's one, one of the other endpoints that I was talking about. Trade goods, look at this. All they do is sell, or all I can do is sell that. You got cattle, coal, uh, all, all the food items, you know? Okay, that's 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 really interesting. That's really, I'm, starting to, I'm starting to build the web of interdependencies in my head of what, what trades go to where and what we need for what. Uh, did that guy buy water? That's the real question. Not because I've got any on me, but because I'd like to know in the future. Yes, and I could have done it for a good price. Shouldn't have sold it. Shouldn't have sold it. Well, today we learn learn the uh, the lesson of all traders everywhere. If if you've got product and they're not and it's not being sold for top 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 price, don't sell it. Anyway, after that philosophical uh, discovery, I'm going east. Still haven't found anywhere to sell this fabric. It's gonna be something silly like the wrapping of a torpedo tube or something like that, right? Luxury food factory. This is new on me. So we can get some luxury foods from here. Doesn't look like they're doing very well, though. What are they waiting on? Wheat. <laughs> Classic. Classic. Uh, where are we now? We're all the way up and around, up on the uh, the far top right here. That's the first loop that we did uh, this episode, and we're now building this second one up. So we're going on quite a circuitous route around the outside here, and this one's got a wormhole. So obviously we're going to have to go and check it out. Uh, what, what could be the worst on the other side? 
side. It would be nice to get the lady adventurous with us as well, but I think if I can nip in there fast enough that she doesn't follow us, we could then turn around if it's any danger and keep, stop her from going through. I think that would probably be the best key for that. All right, let's go. Woo, crazy exploration. Zoom out. Uh, mm, very far backwards. No, I'm not about this really. Anything in here? Nothing here at all. We could probably get on some sort of trade network if we just kind of like jump around a little bit and see if there was any any gates, but I, I, I don't think that's what we're going to do here. Now, now that I'm here and now that I know what's at the other end, I am mildly disappointed. I suppose mild disappointment when you get to the actual fact is uh, that's life in general, right? Or is it the cost of high expectations? I think that's what the Buddha said or something like that, right? Oh, look, there's some wheat farms in this one. Let's try and make an actual trade, shall we? I'm going to go and find the cheapest wheat. What have we got here? Okay, this one's absolutely stacked out. Let's do that, because do you remember I was speaking about those luxury food farms that, uh, factories, sorry, that were under, under wheated? Let, let's go. Let's do it. I got a feeling that ship underneath is going to steal my cheap wheat. Oh, no, no, there wasn't a ship there. It turns out it was just an extension from the bottom of the station and my paranoid brain made up a, uh, a tractor beam. All right, let's try and dock up with this and fill our hole with all the wheat that this, this little station has to offer for us. I'm not sure how much it's actually got. Oh, of course, we need to slow down. Even with the extra thrusters, this is quite an ungraceful ship. Yeah, please. Try to beam me in. Thank you. All right, let's have a look at this. I want to trade some goods. I want to have all your wheat. Let's just like 9999. Uh, and it goes, you can only store this much of it. All right, I'll take all of that. Thank you very much. That means our cargo hole is now full. Yeah, there we go. All right, beautiful. All right, cool. <laughs> I really wish, now that I knew I, where I wanted to go, I could just tell the ship to follow the route that we've previously traced out. That, that would be cool. I don't know if there's a way of actually doing that in this game, but I've not found it, and I'd... Uh, I'd like to make use of it. Perhaps there's a mod out there. These planetscapes, though. I've been throwing a few shots in uh, throughout this episode. I am just, I'm blown away with the details on these planets. I don't know how they've done it. It's, it's just a skybox, I'm sure. But oh, it looks cool. It looks cool. Habitat is another person endpoint by the looks of it. Hmm. All right, we've entered the sector with the luxury food factories. Let's come up to the trading overview and see where we can sell our wheat for the best price. Oh, man, there's a lot of them here. Let's try and find, like, the most empty. I mean, this one in particular looks quite bad. I mean, that is a zero. Do we have any others? No, that that is the one. All right, let's go and do it. It's just in front of us over here. Marvelous, wonderful. Let's get on over there and make some money. Luxury food factory S station. Plax <laughs> Le by the the Hikau, Hikau. I've never been able to pronounce their, their name properly, but hey, you are here. Thank you very much. I enjoy being here. I am here to sell you some of the things that you appear to be quite short of. 937 is the numbers. Now, two, uh, 22,700 thereabouts. It was something like that. It was 22,000 and a bit that we bought this for, and we're going to sell it for oh, 29. That's that's pretty good. That is that is a fair bit of profit there. That's at least uh, se seven grand's worth of profit. Sorry, I didn't want to crash into the into the station there. That would have been horrific. And with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this exploring and trading adventure. I will see you guys next time. Well, I would like to see whether we can automate this little system here. There's a lot of uh, luxury food factories, and there seem to have been a lot of wheat factories around. So I'd like to know whether I can buy myself a bunch of uh, crew for Sir Hall's a lot here. Maybe resurrect the grandest entrance and. Uh, Let's see if we can't automate all of that. But I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye.